724 is the time right now. It's still an unproven transportation system, but a futuristic high-speed vehicle tested in Las Vegas is being viewed as a success. Now executives are hoping to market it to one day to consumers, and as Mandy Gaither explains, she's going to tell us more about the Virgin Hyperloop. It could be the future of high-speed travel if proven safe and successful. Two Virgin Hyperloop executives took the first ride in the vehicle on a test track Sunday. The first passenger test has now been done of the first new mode of transportation, mass transportation that we've had in 100 years. The still unproven transportation system is a vehicle in a vacuum tube that uses magnetic levitation to reach high speeds. The technology that's been around since the 1970s lifts a train car above a track as magnets push the train upward and forward. The company's CEO says it could potentially slash travel time. I'll give you an example. Columbus, Ohio to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, if you stood, took any single person in Columbus and said how far away is Pittsburgh, everybody would say three hours. With Hyperloop, that's less than 25 minutes. The company says their Hyperloop pod only reached 100 miles per hour on the track rather than the 600 miles per hour that Hyperloop advocates have long promised. But executives say its test track is 500 meters long, limiting how fast the pods can now go. The company says Hyperloop pods can travel at the speed of aircraft, but with a fraction of the energy consumption. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mandy Gaither.